Tonight, a story about political connections and what that really means. The Minneapolis Park Board is currently in the process of selecting a new superintendent from three finalists. Whoever they pick will have their work cut out for them. They will not only manage a budget of more than $100 million, they will need to manage an elected board that often seems bitter and divided. It's undisputed that Minneapolis has one of the best park systems in the entire country. But disputes are fairly common among those elected to be its caretakers. And so if you're supporting me, at least respect my brain, respect my mind, ask me. Kind of a new wave of Democrats that were kind of left, lefter than left. Former Park Board Commissioner Scott Vreeland, who resigned last year after 12 years in the Park Board, says the body has become increasingly political. This development of who you know is more important than how you how you do your job. Last April, while under pressure to cut administrative costs, the Park Board created a new position, a paid consultant, an intergovernmental lobbyist to influence City Hall, the school district, county board, and others. The job went to a well-known DFL political operative, Kendall Killian. Killian is a friend of Park Board President Brad Bourne. The two posting pictures on Facebook showing them boating on Lake Bidet Makaska and out on the campaign trail. Killian's given $600 in total to Bourne's two campaigns and co-hosted a fundraiser. Campaign finance records also list Killian as a campaign consultant with a question mark paid $750. Bourne's campaign manager tells Fox 9 that was an error. The Killian was not a paid consultant and provided records showing the $750 check eventually went to the DFL coordinated campaign. Killian was one of its co-chairs. And the DFL coordinated campaign was a big deal in 2017, sending out flyers and helping get born and a slate of six new park board commissioners elected, five of whom voted to make born their president. The idea that suddenly the park board needed an intergovernmental relations person that could schmooze with other DFLers, since this is kind of a DFL town, seemed a little bit over the top to me about a, a position that pays really well, that also looks like payback for the person that got the majority of the board elected. Under the consulting contract, Killian is paid 9,500 a month, or 114,000 a year. But the contract was broken up into two six-month terms, keeping it under 100 grand, which meant it never went before the park board commissioners for a vote, and was never part of a public hearing. And the contract is renewable for up to five years, meaning a potential commitment up to 570,000. Something about it just doesn't seem totally above board. Stephanie Music is a current commissioner on the park board in her second term. She says while commissioners had general discussions around hiring policy aides or a lobbyist, the new position was a surprise. Who got the job was not. The optics of creating a job without much input from the board and then awarding it to Mr. Killian is really bad. It, it does not look transparent. Do you think by breaking this contract up into two, they were trying to slip it by you? I, f I have no evidence of that, but that's the impression that I get. Hey, I know you got to get back to that meeting, but I wonder if we can schedule a time to talk about this um, consulting contract. At a recent park board meeting, we wanted to talk to President Bourne about his friend's contract. Were you involved in this consulting contract? No, you'll want to talk to the superintendent that uh, comes out of her office. So you didn't have any role? Correct. In i got to get, get back in. Okay. He just, from my way of thinking, was the person that came forward with, as most qualified. So that's, you know, that's what happened. It wasn't based on um, the president of the board telling me you have to hire someone. Interim Park Board Superintendent Mary Merrill says Killian was one of only three candidates for the six-figure consulting job. She says the contract was split in two to give the next Park Board Superintendent flexibility. Let me just say this. I know that with having had 15 years experience working with a number of campaigns, that that was in it, that I saw that as a plus. Um, I saw that as a plus in terms of someone who had experience working in the political realm. A plus how? 
that he knew that he knew lots of people. He knew lots of people. Yeah, it's true. Killian is a former senior policy aide to Minneapolis Council Member Linnea Palmisano, a former campaign manager for Congressman Rick Nolan, and came with letters of recommendation for Mayor Jacob Fry, Hennepin County Commissioner Marion Green, and school board chair Nelson Inns. Because this is kind of a DFL city, I mean, it's kind of, it's, people get to know each other and they help each other out and they contribute to each other's campaigns. People are asking questions and so, I'm asking questions. But some commissioners have begun raising concerns. How many lobbying contracts has this board engaged in without a board vote? Oh, that is a, I think Superintendent Merrill may have to go through the 130 year history of the Minneapolis Park Board and bring that to you at a different time. Commissioners have also questioned Killian's invoices, which under the contract must be itemized invoices for services rendered. Yet all the invoices say is, Intergovernmental Consulting. My name is Kendall Killian. I'm the Intergovernmental Relations Consultant. Killian declined to be interviewed for this story, but spoke briefly when he was finally formally introduced to the board last month. Just last week, we were successful in um, getting our levy approved by the Board of Estimate and Taxation, um, actually a higher levy than what the mayor had originally proposed. There is political patronage in this city. It's never been a part of the park board system or process. Freeland says the job of lobbying has traditionally fallen to commissioners and the superintendent, but some of the newly elected members have been surprised by the workload for a part-time job that pays an annual stipend of only 12000 The board has talked about tripling its salary. I find it hard to believe that he's been hired to serve the needs of every commissioner on that board. At a time of tight budgets, when cutting staff and even planting fewer trees is under consideration, Commissioner Musich wonders if one of the best park systems in the country really needs another lobbyist. That's not something we needed to pay someone to do for us. And I don't see why the new board should be any different. We're all certainly capable of relationship building and communicating out the mission and the goals of our organization. That's how we got elected. Today I talked with one of the other two candidates for that consulting job. He told me it was, quote, wired from the start, that after he applied for the job and before his interview, several people told him the job was going to Killian because that is who Brad Bourne wanted. Yesterday, a big development in the story, the park board told us the interim superintendent now plans to make this consulting contract a full-time position in the 2019 budget. Kendall Killian will have to reapply for the job. For the Fox 9 Investigators, I'm Tom Lydon.